our final horse for uh, our horses to follow is your own story who you could say actually looked a little bit frustrating and he's had seven seconds um, over fences and just the one win that win came when winning at Weatherby was that six runs ago now um, back in March of 2023 beating Innisfree lad pretty comfortably over three miles seven now I think this is a horse who uh, this season could win a feature handicap it could even be something like the Scottish National or the Welsh National um, I really like this horse for those types of races we actually had this horse in our horses to follow last year and you can see last year he finished second three three times at Newcastle Kelso and Punchestown now two of those runs the first one over two miles seven at Newcastle was off a 318 day break um, when over a trip that was too short he doesn't want two mile seven. He doesn't want three. He doesn't want three mile. He wants three and a half mile, um, in my opinion, at least. Now, that was probably a good return run. He then went to Kelso, which didn't totally make sense to me, for another handicap over a similar trip. I think he needed to step up and trip there, um, but maybe they were already thinking about this season because it was already April at that time. He'd missed all of the feature handicaps over the, the marathon trips. Where were you really going to run? Um, or what was you going to run in that was worthwhile? You'd missed the um, Grand National. You'd missed the Irish National. The Scottish National had been. Um, Welsh National way before. So there was no reason to really try and affect his handicap mark in terms of winning races. The only one that... The, the only race that was kind of maybe worth trying to win was the four mile handicap chase at Punchestown where he finished second beaten on the line by the gradual slope now trying to take on the Irish horses it's always tricky um, and he just got beat on the line by the gradual slope who I kind of feel I don't think he was the best horse that day I think the best horse was your own story and he probably should have won just maybe Patrick just got there too soon and went too early they were well clear of the rest um, and the horse went up five pounds for that, your own story. Now, that's probably not enough still to get in the the, the feature handicaps uh, still to come, like the Welsh National, um, the Scottish National. I don't think he'll be aimed at the Grand National. Could end up in the Ida Chase or something like that. So I kind of feel he's one that needs to win soon in order to get in those races. What races could you run in then? There's a Durham National on the 20th of this month, 13 days time, that's where I hope to see your own story. And I think he's one that we've got to keep backing early on in the season in order to get wins into him, to get him up high enough in the handicap to get in those feature races. We've got to remember that this horse went off 6-1, to one. no he didn't, he went off 4-1, to one, sorry, joint favourite for the Scottish Grand National a couple of years ago. 4-1 to one joint favourite with Kitty's Light, who had come from winning an Ida and then went on to win the Bet365. And then actually ran a really good race last year, finishing fifth in the Grand National behind four Grade One horses: um, I Am Maximus, Delta Work, Manella Indo, and Galvin. I mean, that's a huge run from Kitty's Light, probably demonstrating that he was probably the best handicapper in the race, just wasn't the best Grade One horse in the race. Um, so the fact that your own story was sent off the four to one joint favourite with a horse that can do that. I think that demonstrates straight away that there's more to come from um, your own story. But also, if you go back and watch the race, he was up there for a long way, your own story, and then just dropped dropped himself out. Dropped right out the back, looked like he was in big trouble, you know, game over, likely to be pulled up. And then he consented to run on again. And he finished really strongly. He was only ended up only ending up being beaten 11 lengths. If that race had actually been over three mile two, sorry, four mile two, he'd have, I think he'd have probably finished second. You know, just another couple of furlongs. And yeah, I think he would have finished second behind Kitty's Light. And then he would have been going, wow, that horse can finish second at Kitty's Light. Um, despite dropping himself out, being one pound out of the handicap um, to a horse that went on to win another feature handicap, finish fifth in a Grand National and to be only two pounds higher at this stage, your own story looks very well handicapped. And that Durham National, I've, they've got to go for that, in my opinion. 
the Durham National at um, Sedgefield is over, what's it, over three mile five. I think that'll be just about far enough. But it's for horses rated 0 to 145, so he'll be right near the bottom of the handicap. Won't have a lot of weight to carry. Um, and yeah, I think he would, I think he would win that, to be honest, uh, at Sedgefield. And then be high enough rated to get in subsequent feature handicaps like the Scottish National, like the Welsh National. Um, oh, I can't remember what the races I've put down. What is it? Welsh. I think I've gone Welsh National, Ida Chase, Scottish National, Durham National first. I mean, there's four runs there. That's his, that would be his campaign sorted. And I think he would win at least one of those um, if he runs in those four races.